the Osprey Ether 85 AG has taken all of the features that we've come to love and expect from a high-end backpacking bag and combined it with a really innovative and unique suspension system that gives you load hauling support, but also a nice airy and breathable feel. It's gonna sit comfortably, it's gonna carry weight well, and it gives you tons of organizational options and other features that make it great for those long haul backpacking trips on the trail. The Ether 85 AG is built on the innovative anti-gravity suspension system. This framing creates a super strong base for securing heavy loads while comfortably transferring those loads to the hips. The hip belt creates tension when it's opened to provide an airy body hugging fit and the soft contoured shoulder straps wrap around your torso like no other pack. Innovative load lifter straps help to stabilize and enhance the overall comfort and support. The pack has top access, bottom access, and front access so you can get to your gear easily no matter where it's located inside. The lid of this pack can be completely removed to be used as the day lid pack, a fully functional day pack. Aesthetic enhancements give the pack a sleek look and design all while maintaining those bells and whistles that we've come to expect from Osprey's Ether packs. Let's take a closer look at the Osprey Ether AG85. I've tried out the Osprey anti-gravity suspension system in a couple of Osprey's other packs and it's really nice, it's really comfortable, it's definitely a different fit than what I've ever felt from a pack before. With the Ether, it's even better. You get beefier support in the hips, you get that really comfortable suspension system while still having those soft shoulder straps that really transfer the load well down to the hips. So it can hold weight better than some of those lighter weight versions of that same style suspension system. So it's a really interesting way that they've recreated that anti-gravity to work with the Ether. The pack is built with really lightweight ripstop materials, but they maintain durability for those extended backpacking trips. You do get a very reliable construction with the pack. Looking at that suspension system, it is really interesting. It's a little different than the first release of the anti-gravity suspension system, but that's because they needed to beef it up, enhance the structure and support that it's going to offer. So in the shoulder straps, you still have that really soft contoured foam. It is lightly padded there, so you're gonna get a really nice ride and a really complete wrap from those shoulder straps. You do have those innovative stiffeners in the load lifter straps that are gonna provide that extra support and stability as well. Moving down the back panel, we've got open mesh here and some foam for padding. It also sits a little bit off of the pack itself, so you get airflow behind your back as well as all around. So really good airflow, really good padding here and still very lightweight. Down in the hip belt is where the pack really gets its structure and support. When you open up the hip belt, those fins kind of tension the backpack. So it really pulls the lower back section away so you get space, you get clearance there, and you still get support. And in the hip belt, you've actually got some custom moldable foam as well. So you do have reinforcements in the hip belt. It is very sturdy. And you can have that custom molded in an Osprey oven from one of your local retailers, or just take it on a few long trips and it'll break itself in to provide a custom fit for your hips. So it's really cool in that regard. Another neat aspect about this version of the anti-gravity suspension system is that you can completely customize the suspension system to fit yourself. So the shoulder straps can be removed completely, you can get a different size if you need to. The hip belt can be taken off very quickly and easily and you can make that bigger or smaller depending on your size and shape. So it is a very customizable pack, you do get a really easy organization or an easy system to create the best fit. The pack does come in torso sizes, so you will need to reference that to get the proper base, and then you can make the shoulder straps and the hip belt work for you. Some other features on the back side here, we do have two hip belt pockets. They're great for storing snacks or smaller items. You can throw your phone in there. It is a pretty big hip belt pocket. Maybe not for the biggest smartphones out there, but you can definitely store some decent gear there. Maybe a rain cover if you wanna have that readily accessible. Rain cover's not included with the pack, but it's certainly an accessory that you might wanna consider. You've also got hydration compatibility with the pack. So right on the back side here, there's a port where you can route that tube through and the inside of the pack has a sleeve where that reservoir would hang. That is not included. It is sold separately, but certainly a worthy accessory to consider with the pack as well. 
Moving back around to the front, we'll take a look at how we access the pack. So with the 85 ether here, you've got three different access points. You've got the top, it is a traditional top loading pack with a lid. So there are two buckles on the front of this lid here, and that throws back and you've got a large spin drift collar. So you can access the top contents of your bag pretty quickly and pretty easily. But if there's something that's kind of buried toward the middle that's not in the lower compartment, you can still access that. On the front, there is a large J-shaped zipper. It's kind of behind the compression straps here, behind this stretch mesh front pocket. And that zipper is gonna allow you to access the front and middle contents of the pack really quickly and easily, so you don't have to go digging through the top to get to all your gear. That's always annoying when you're on the trail and you just need your filter that might be in the middle of the pack or you need your stove for a quick break. You can get to that stuff easily just by reaching through the front here. It's also got a lower sleeping bag compartment, so at the bottom you've got removable sleeping pad straps and there is a compartment there for your sleeping bag. There's also a divider there. You can choose to leave that divider in place and have separation for your bag and your other contents, or you can drop that divider and have one large internal pocket. That's up to you. It depends on what you're using it for, but you have the option to compartmentalize down there. Pockets on the pack are abundant. You've got two stretch mesh water bottle pockets on the sides. And something that I like about the new ethers, um, you've actually got a little bit of a reinforced material on those pockets. So instead of just being that delicate stretch mesh, you've actually got a rip stop material over that pocket as well. So it's gonna be really durable and it's gonna hold up well over a much longer period of time. Those pockets also have a side opening. So they've got the standard top opening here. They've also got a side opening on the back side. So what that allows you to do is put your bottle in at an angle. So while you're on the trail, you can just reach back grab it and pull it out. It's a lot more simple to grab your bottle that way than it is to have it sticking straight out. You can certainly use those pockets for other gear as well, like tent poles or any other longer, bigger items. On the front, we have that stretch mesh pocket as well. I've just got a jacket in there right now, so you can use that for whatever you need. You can throw an item in there, windbreaker, wet clothing, anything like that. Really nice large pocket on the front. You've got compression straps, top and bottom. It's really gonna help you to cinch down smaller loads in the pack if you need to. And a cool feature about those particular straps, if you look on the side of the pack, there's actually these curious little uh, female ends of buckles on the top and bottom here. And these center front compression straps can actually extend around and clip to those to really secure smaller loads if you're not packing this thing out. So, you've got a lot of compressibility with this pack overall. So that's really cool. I'm a big fan of that little feature there. Other pockets include top pockets. So on the top of the pack, you've got two pockets. You've got a pretty small pocket here. It's good for maps, maybe a first aid kit or something small that you wanna get quick access to. And you've got a fairly large pocket on there as well. I've got a sleeping pad in there right now. I've got another one liter stuff sack in there right now. So there's plenty of space in this hood. Another cool thing about the hood, you can take it off completely and use it as the day lid day pack. And it is pretty easy to do that. You've got two buckles on the back here and you've got the two buckles on the front. You can just remove those and the lid will pop right off. So you can use that as the day lid. To create the day lid, there's another zipper on that lid. So you just kind of unzip it. The straps come out. And you've got two little snaps that are kind of hidden on the back side here, tucked into little pockets. Undo those and clip the shoulder straps to them and you're ready to go and you've got your day lid day pack. This is a really cool feature. It's a lot more functional than some of those sling packs or some of those lumbar packs that come with big heavy duty backpacking bags. This is a full day pack. So you get all of the features of a day pack. You've got a bungee tie off. You've got a gear loop at the bottom. You've got additional pockets. You've even got hydration compatibility with this day pack. So you can take your reservoir out of your main pack, put it into the little one and be on your way. So you do have a lot of really cool features with that day lid pack. So I really like that addition. It makes things a lot easier. If you decide to take that day lid pack off or just remove the lid in general and leave it at home, Osprey does have you covered. There's actually a uh, flap jacket on the underside of 
the pack. So instead of having the lid on the pack, you can expose Osprey's flap jacket and just use that to cover your contents. That's gonna give you protection from the elements. It's gonna keep your gear enclosed. It just provides a little bit of extra security and it makes it look a little more sleek. So you lose some of your weight, you lose some of the capacity as well, but you still get protection with that flap jacket. A few other things to mention are stow on the go trekking pole attachment. So Osprey's got a pretty nifty little attachment here where you can stow your trekking poles. They sit right under your arm. So if you need to put the poles away, scramble up a quick rock face or something like that, you can do so with this loop and this gear loop down here. Just tuck your trekking poles in, they sit right under the arm comfortably and you can do your thing hands free and then just take them back out when you need to. There's also gear loops on the front and bungee tie offs as well. So you've got access to storing some ice axes, mountaineering axes or any other kind of heavy duty equipment you need to right on the front of the pack. This pack really does have it all. It's got tons of features. It's got tons of versatility. It can be used for a variety of different situations. It's a very comfortable suspension system that is customizable for almost any user. And it just overall does a really good job at providing an airy, comfortable body hugging fit while still supporting weight. It's the Osprey Ether 85 AG. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions about the gear that you just saw, feel free to visit backcountryedge.com to get in touch with me or one of our other gear specialists. We have detailed product descriptions and specs, and often for a lot of our products, we have additional bonus videos. And if you like what we do here on YouTube, please subscribe.